Hello everyone, I'm Rakesh Kumar. I wish to introduce you Azerbaijan Medical University, which is located in uh, Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. And I wish to invite all the students who are interested to study MBBS and who has a dream of becoming a doctor to join in this Azerbaijan Medical University. And it's one of the best country to study medicine and is one of the livable cities with a very affordable option. In this video, I would like to inform more about the country, Azerbaijan, because in India, Azerbaijan is not very familiar and most of the student or parent do not know about this country. And uh, in this video also, I wanted to share about uh, what is the education system here, what are the benefits of studying in this country, what are the advantages, and what is the fee structure, and what are the facilities that we can provide, and what are the facilities the government is providing, and all that will be covered in this short video. Okay. About Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan is a country which is located in the Caucasus region which is uh, surrounded by Georgia, Iran, and Russia. Azerbaijan got out from Soviet in 1991. And from after coming out from 1991, they started having very good fundamentals uh, on education, on the governance, and on the infrastructure. And uh, it has been ruled uh, by the president's family. And it is, to be, it is considered to be one of the best economies in the Eastern Europe because Azerbaijan is uh, called as an oil rich country. Uh, 1980s, Azerbaijan has been one of the country which is dominating with this uh, oil resources and one of the very livable cities uh, in the Eastern Europe. And the capital of Azerbaijan is Baku city, which is one of the most beautiful places that I have seen across most of the Eastern European countries. It is a uh, very new and modern, we can also see all the uh, ancient uh, buildings and uh, all the new modern buildings uh, in the same city. And uh, Baku is considered to be one of the second tourism destination next to Dubai. Uh, we can see that recently we had uh, Formula One, which has happened inside the cities of uh, Baku. And in recent years, we can see a lot of uh, tourists from India, from all the Asian countries traveling to Baku. Uh, and it's that's the reason you know they call it as one of the second tourism destination and it's surrounded by beautiful hills and uh, people enjoy both the summer and also in the winter in the Caucasus region and about the distance Azerbaijan is not very far from India from Delhi it is hardly five hours of travel of uh, students that are taking a transit from Dubai or from Sarjah or any of the uh, UAE provenance it takes hardly 7.5 hours journey and the visa process are not very hectic uh, it's very easy, simple and easy process, so which ensures many students and parents can uh, anytime travel down. And the main reason uh, we chose Azerbaijan would be a very good destination for uh, international students, mainly our Indian students to study MBBS, just because uh, this country have a system. As in, you know, the country wanted the medical to be uh, absorbed directly by Minister of Health and Minister of Education. So after the Soviet, when the, com the country become independent, they had a rule saying that the medical system has to be under one umbrella. So they merged all the medical universities which were in this country and they formed one university which is called Azerbaijan Medical University. And they had an independent university recognition from 1991. And the university have around uh, 10,000 students studying in this entire campus, out of which more than 2,000 students are from 20 di different countries. And uh, we have 150 Indian students studying in this university. Beyond that, there's a university which is directly monitored by Ministry of Health and Education so that the student need not worry about their uh, future aspects. Like, you know, there are a lot of changes happening today in uh, India with amending a lot of medical rules and regulations. And uh, that, is all for, that is all good for medical students. Not only that, it is managed by the government and the uh, Ministry of Health. Very main aspect, you know, uh, because the entire student are studying in this one university, they've ensured that they give the best out of education and uh, they formed a very huge infrastructure for the entire 8,000 students who are studying here. And all the students who are interested to study MBBS in this country come with a lot of protocols and uh, entrance exams, like what we have it in India, and all the students pass the exam and those who clear those eligibility exams, they get admitted in this medical university. With regards to uh, the important points that any Indian student have to look when they are uh, going to travel abroad, number one, they have to look whether the country is safe or the country do an easy access for the student to travel from India. 
because that is considered to be very important aspect after covid so baku city the traveling restrictions are not very much and the visa restrictions are not very hectic so parents and student can any time travel down to this country and um, number 2 about the safety when you look look into the safety index of this country this country falls under top 20 in the safest and livable country in the world and uh, after that economy uh, uh, azerbaijan economy is one of the best economies because this country is named for oil and gas so their economy is very strong and uh, they are not very expensive than uh, many countries uh, with a student can afford the living with less than 20000 rupees which includes the food and accommodation for every month which is not that expensive here beyond that the student have to look into the accreditations of the university our university is internationally accredited and we have got lot of recognitions in different part of the world and i have prefixed most of the accreditation certificates in the website so that the student can look into all the accreditation certificates in detail and beyond that it is a government university so the students automatically get lot of clinical exposure because it's not a university which has got affiliated hospitals it's a government university and here what you see is a university uh, owned hospital and that's one of the largest hospital in the country and even the university has got two to three different you know clinics with more than 1200 beds where student get lot of practical exposure and they get to know more about what is happening today in the medical scenario so all these aspects are very important for any of the modern doctors most of the professors who are teaching medicine in this university are very experienced you know uh, i could see most of the uh, doctors who are here are minimum having 20 to 30 years of experience and those doctors are professors here who is teaching all the students and the kind of care that they are taking for international students are you know very nice and because you know they love most of the indian student because i personally talk to most of the deans and the faculties out here and they say compared to other students uh, our indian students are really good and they they kind of spend a lot of time interacting with the students in clearing their doubts and uh, getting all their uh, you know doubts clarified very important point about the education fundamentals here even though there are a lot of international students and domestic students here the university had formed a system as such every batch will not have more than 18 students so that uh, i could personally see the time tables with you know not more than 18 students in a batch so every student are given a personal attention so that the faculties know about the student and the student have a very friendly atmosphere with the faculties and the medium of instruction is fully taught in english and most of the faculties are well versed about what they are up to and uh, they ensure that each and every student requirements and it has been fulfilled very honestly the attendance in this university has been very strict because it's not a private university it's a government university they have a very centralized system wherein every student are monitored on a daily basis the in and out inside the campus the in and out inside the classes have been monitored because attendance plays a very important role in the credit system because the faculty is ensure the student should have attended most of the classes and the student fail to attend classes you know they will also have issues in the exam results so they ensure the student are properly coming to the classes and then the exam system which is considered to be very important you know the exam system is uh, you know monitored in such a way that you know it is fully centralized so every student have a portal and the student access the exams through the portal and the results come then and there it is not that an injured individual faculty is correcting the papers they have a centralized body who is correcting on evaluating the exams so that you know they make sure every student's individual skill sets is been evaluated properly and very main aspect you know every parent who send their son or a daughter they are very concerned about how is the accommodation see this is a very largest university and this university has got uh, six hostel buildings and for which uh, they have allocated two buildings for indian students wherein one hostel is mixed with boys and girls with in different floors boys are in different floor and girls are in a different floor and we have another individual buildings wherein you know they have a separate hostel for girls and separate for boys and because it is a university with more than 20 international students studying here you know they have a kind of ambience and they have uh, they have you know divided the hostels with different facilities so the students based on the affordability and you know the facility they required they can choose up their own hostel and being a consultant 
from India taking up uh, hundreds of Indian students, we also ensured that we have a very good, you know, hostel uh, with an agreement with the university, and we have ensured that we have a separate block for girls and separate for boys, and we also ensured to provide a proper Indian meal to them so that you know the student do not miss their country. See, and in this year, for every individual student, because after COVID we have a lot of changes in India. For example, Medical Council of India brought a lot of changes and uh, we had a recent conflict with different countries because students were not able to travel down and the Medical Council of India said they will not allow students uh, to register back home when if they are having an online classes or if they don't have practical sessions in the university. So comparing to all these factors, even Azerbaijan, we had a difficulty in bringing them uh, back to Baku, but you know because of the visa systems in this country, it was possible for us because it's a government-owned university and uh, the Minister of Education, they themselves knew whatever the factors was happening in India. So it made it, made it little easy for us to bring the student back to Baku on a very short notice. And we ensured all the students were having their offline classes. And this year, particularly for any of the Indian students who wish to study abroad, they have to look into very main aspects, which are... Uh, come up in the Gazette on November uh, last year, in 2021. The main aspects are, the Medical Council of India have told the student that they have to study in a university which has got minimum 54 months of education and one year of internship in the same university-owned hospital. So students need not worry when they are coming to study in Azerbaijan because it is a government university and the university has got six years of education which has five years of education and one year of internship which is in the university-owned hospital. So the clause number one is justified. And number two, the Medical Council of India wants the student to study in a university which is fully taught in English. Yes, in Azerbaijan, they have got teaching faculty in Azeri, Russian and English. But for all the international students from 20 different countries, they are purely taught in English. So you need not worry about your uh, language because it's fully taught in English. And all your subjects, your faculties, Everyone are very well versed in English and uh, <clears throat> we started from 2017 and we are having the final batch of students who are going to come out this year. And uh, the third point about the Medical Council of India is, you know, uh, they, they, they wanted the internship to happen in the same university hospital. And ours is a university owned hospital. So being getting internship in this own hospital will not be a problem at all. And number four is the Gazette wanted the student to be permitted to work in this country after <clears throat> they complete the medical degree. See, it is very common in all the countries because you are coming to an international country and every international country has a bit of norms. So this country permits every international people to work after completing the degree but not after MBBS. You have to complete your residency and to get into residency is very simple. In the six years time, you just need to know the language, Azari language, because when you are treating a patient, you have to ensure that you know the country's basic language so that when you are well versed about the language, it becomes easy for you to do your residency. Because residency is all about, you know, being with patients. And all the patients in this country, you know, they talk Azari. As in India, we have different languages. In this country, like, they speak a language called Azari. So you should know Azari language. And after knowing that language, when you come into this country and when you get into a residency, after residency, you can register yourself as a licensed doctor and you can practice in this country. So even that norm which has been asked by the Medical Council of India has been justified because this country allows international students to work and practice and settle in this country. Because we have a live example. We have got a few doctors who have a huge Indian hospital and uh, they, they, they have been serving this country for many years. So that is also justified. Now uh, let me show the university buildings. Right from beside me you can see the university owned hospital which is almost a 12 story hospital which is only for uh, the students who are studying here and uh, they teach more about surgery and uh, it, it is one of the you know, largest hospital in this country where you can see all the latest equipments and latest technologies and the, the uh, most of the you know, public who, who wish to you know get into a, any of the medical requirements they come into this university and students are allowed inside the hospital and you know most of the students 
the, the faculties take the students directly uh, with them and the student get, get to interact with patients and you know they observe a lot of patients and because this building is fully dedicated for a lot of surgery so student get to you know the practical exposure on how the surgery is happening and you know the, the faculties you know train them on uh, how they are dealing with patients you know it is so large you know it is just you have to cross the road and from here on the other side here you can see one block where the student will be studying <coughs> biochemistry bio pharmacology and the other block which the student will be studying anatomy and most of the other major subjects are taught in these buildings and coming here here you see is a therapeutic building where they teach uh, internal medicine neurology and many other courses Uh, it's another big campus where you have all the university auditoriums and uh, it's almost a 12 story building where all the major faculties are taught here and this is another main block in this university and uh, that side is the main entrance the admission process are very simple we just required you know a student should be very good qualified in in the 12th standard minimum at least you should have 60 percentage and above in your 12th standard and very much you should be neat qualified student please ensure that you are neat qualified before making an application to our university because it's very important for any of the student uh, who is to get registered with themselves you have to be neat qualified so ensure that you are neat qualified before you make an application so we have started our application process and where application process ends by end of august because uh, this is a government university and they are very strict with their admission norms so every year they take up the student by mid of september and they ensure all the students are here in this country by 10th to 15th of september so we'll close the admissions by end of august sometimes we get a leverage of 15 20 days because last year and before we had covid and uh, we had the counseling dates which are announced very late in india so we had a little bit of leverage last year but this year you know since everything is open uh, the university have ensured that the student have to enroll before end of august uh, for any queries regarding your admission your visa about the university about the country please feel free to contact our india representatives because we have got representatives in uh, all the states of india and i have described all the name and contact details in the website as well as i have put it on a description on this video so uh, you can reach out all the representatives uh, in your nearby destination and i'm very happy to introduce everyone because you know we had ensured that all the representative have traveled to baku they have visited the university and uh, they have you know visited most of the faculties and they know what is the facilities which are provided here and i will also ensure that they will give you the right information and um, this will be a really one of the best study destination for any medical graduates with a very affordable option because uh, right from the education till your uh, living you know all together it will not end up with more than 35 lakhs i'm talking about the tuition fees the hostel the mess and all together for the entire 6 years you will not go beyond 35 lakhs so get every cost and every process in detail with most of our uh, consultants in india and uh, make sure you know you start making your applications without any hazard thank you